Hey there besties, how are we doing today? So, I know I said I'd be making less Amber Lynn content, but this actually might be content worthy because I have been told that Amber Lynn is actually losing weight and sticking to a diet and that's incredible. That deserves to be celebrated. Love to hear that news. Also, yes, my hair does look different. It doesn't look as good as it does, of course, when I first got it done, but I got it done by a queen named Beauty by Brie. I have genuinely never been happier with my hair my entire life. If you are ever in North Norton, Massachusetts, go to Outlook Hair Salon and see Brianna because we all deserve to have iconic hair, okay? With that being said, besties, Anne Rowland has uploaded a weigh-in, so let's quickly jump on into this before the topic goes still. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a weigh-in. But if you want, can we try again? Try again? Oh yeah. So I want to start uploading videos weekly of my weigh-ins. I'm thinking every Wednesday would be cool. good because that's how I tracked it this week was last Wednesday to this Wednesday. I've been Sounds taking good. my weight loss more seriously, so I want to share that with you guys. For the last few months, I have been working on my eating, not overeating as much. I haven't awesome. binged and I can't tell you how long. So wow. my weight loss, I was losing weight. It was gradually and slowly, um, but it was happening, which is really nice. But yeah. I decided that I need to take this journey a little bit more seriously, lose weight a little bit more fast because I need to. Like I'm over 500 pounds, so I really need to do this kind of quickly. I am trying to be realistic with myself though, because you know, it's I'm, I can't just take a magic pill. Didn't take me overnight to get this weight in definitely not going to be an overnight process of True. losing weight. So what I've been doing to lose weight, pretty simple. Um, I'm not really doing takeout. If I do, it's like once a week and it's usually something Good. healthy. Awesome. But I do have those moments where I give in to a part of my brain where hey I want mom, to cheat days. I heard Amberlynn might be losing weight. Is it true? Wow, that would be great. Honestly, I'm a little skeptical, mom. Since I'm not as naive and hopeful as you, I will watch the video because I'm willing to hear her out, though. I did have a cheat day throughout this last week. Like, I don't want to deprive myself of absolutely everything because that's when the binging will start because I'm restricting myself too hard. I just noticed that when I'm losing weight, a definite thing that keeps me on track for longer and the most realistic thing for me to do is eating in moderation. Like I do yeah. like a sweet thing at the end of the night. So I usually have like this um, fruit coconut popsicle situation or I have a frozen yogurt. It's like a ball situation. Why do I keep saying situation? Oh my God. It's a mint. Girl, you've been saying situation. <laughs> that is like your number one favorite word. We all know about situation type deals and moments and all of the above. As for her new, I guess, plan. Yeah. Feeding a craving per se, but not eating exactly, you know, normally what she would eat. I don't think that's an awful idea. It's about like making healthy substitutions in my opinion, which it sounds like she might be doing that. I'm hoping that she tells us that she's lost like a substantial amount of weight because that would be incredible. I would be so proud. <laughs> Frozen yogurt. Um thing, dessert, with, like chocolate around down. it and it's really, really good. So that's like a good example of me not restricting myself too hard and mm -hmm. still allowing myself to have that lower calorie sweet thing at the end of the night. So I just feel really good lately. Like my stamina is crazy better. Like I'm literally awesome. standing up. Hey, that's awesome, girl. I love um, that. Have I seen that before? No. I just, I feel so much better. I'm that's not awesome. in as much pain. I don't get out of breath as much. I could just do things that I couldn't have done definitely not two years ago. But like I just... Yeah. I notice every single day I get better and things get That's easier awesome. and it's just been really nice. So I did weigh in every single day, which I will be showing you guys that. I did not actually film the weigh-ins because I wanted to do them naked to get the realest weight that we can get. So I just took a okay, picture girl. every single time that I weighed myself. So for those of you wondering, if you're new around here, my highest weight is 572.4. So I was very close to the 600s and I'm just very, very grateful I never reached it. But 572.4, I might as well have, you know? I literally felt like I was 800 pounds at that point. It was yeah. miserable. I hated it. It was just bad. So on, I wrote all my weights down so I don't forget. But on October 13th, which was Wednesday, I weighed 518.0. Wow. I just realized that like, she really has lost a good chunk of weight. Like I didn't realize that her starting weight was 572. Like my brain didn't connect those things. Wow, girl, that's, that's incredible. Like I'm genuinely so proud 
and so impressed like that is something to celebrate that alone that that start to your journey that's incredible so october 14th thursday i weighed 516.6 wow. which was a 1.4 pound loss then october 15th which was friday i weighed 514.0 wow. which was a 2.6 loss october 16th which was saturday I weighed in at 513.6, which was a 0 0.4 loss. This was actually the day I had the cheat day, which wasn't my worst cheat day ever. You still lost um, I ordered though, Mo's huh? for my first meal. I had a taco burrito bowl situation. It was more so like a salad because it was a lot of lettuce. I didn't really care for it too much. And then later for my second meal, I had five guys. So, so the next day was Sunday, October 17th. I weighed in at 513.8, wow, which was girl. a 0 0.2 gain, which I'm surprised it was only 0.2. But I took that. Then Monday, October 18th, I was 512.6, which was wow, 1.2 loss. Go. Tuesday, October 19th, I was 511.0 at 1.6 wow. loss. Wednesday, October 20th, 509.6, which was a 1.4 loss, wow. which was today. So this week I lost 8.4. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so happy. Like I'm literally like feeling like a little emotional. That's incredible. I am so blown away. I'm so happy to see this finally. I'm so proud of Amber Lynn for sticking to this. And oh my God, I I hope that she continues this journey because she's doing a great job. I'm so happy. I'm so proud. I'm, I feel like you've proven a lot of people wrong and that's a great feeling. We should all just take a second and applaud this. And wow. I mean, stick to this. You're doing great. You're doing the right things. You're on the right path. Let's see more of this. I hope next week you can come back and you lose 10 pounds. Like, this is awesome. This is awesome. There just aren't enough basic positive words that I can throw at you right now because I, it's too early and I haven't had coffee yet, but girl, good job. Good job. This is what we want to see. This is exactly the content we want to see and I am thrilled to be reacting to it today. Total of overall weight loss of 62.8 which I am very proud That's of. That's amazing. Very, very proud of that. You it's should crazy be. to think that if I didn't have that cheat day I probably would have reached around 10 pounds but I'm going to take the 8.4. I'm very proud very proud of that. You should My goal be. is to reach 499.8 by November 1st. You so can do I it. have 12 more weigh-ins which is daily. I do my daily weigh-ins to lose 9.8 pounds. You can which do I it. think is doable. Yeah, absolutely. If I don't do it, at least I tried. My goal is to try every single day, take every single meal at a time you can and do ask it. myself before I eat, am I going to regret this decision? Is this decision good for me? So that is the end you can of do my weigh-in. Um, wow. Whatever you guys want to see or hear in these weigh-in videos, let me know because there will be one every single Wednesday. I want to know what you guys want to hear, maybe like a topic, whatever it is. Just let me know. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next I one. I did, girl. Bye. I'm sorry my stupid freaking camera again is being fricky. I will put up several photos of my hair looking great here to make up for it because I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. LOL. All right, besties. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so thrilled that Amberlynn is improving. I am just so happy. I, I'm just proud. I feel like she's doing a great job and we should all applaud her. What do y'all think of today's video? Let me know down below. Is this too good to be true or is it okay to celebrate her success? Cause I want to, I want to so bad. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching today. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on your way out. And speaking of subscribe, I gotta give an extra special shout out to my beloved channel members. Jasmine Lavon, Seabell, Senya, Sophie Watson, Blukey, April, Betty, Unclassically Ashley, Katie Butler, Elizabeth W, Chloe D, Caitlin Goodwin, Dr. A, Lilith77, Panda, Fawn De Silva, MZR, Mystic Magic Luna Meowers, Joey, Holly Mack, Pokey2, Tori Kelleher, A Real Bear, Misfit Brit, Angelina Rafoot, Maddie Hatter, Nikki Fitness, Kristen RB, Elizabeth Richardson, Roly Poly Toad, Feline Swordson Traub, Desiree Wild, Selena V, Saber Sword Song, Ida, and Bumblebean. Thank y'all so much for giving Grandma just a little bit of extra support. I love you. I appreciate you. You guys are my best friends. I would die for you. Question of the day. If you could give Amber Lynn one piece of positive, happy advice right now, what would it be? Mine is just stick to it. Don't give up, girl. Push through this. It's gonna get harder for you, easier, but girl, you're capable of this. We all believe in you. All right, besties. I love you. Thank you for spending precious minutes of your beautiful life with me. I will see you soon. I just, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm sorry about my camera. I'm saving up. Promise, promise. And I will see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you.